Hello, and welcome to a Naiwa 2 uh, beginner's guide. So, I just wanted to go through a couple things just to help. If you want, well, Naiwa 2 is going to be a free, well, you know, free with the PlayStation Plus. One of the, the monthly free games. So, I thought I'd do some beginner tips. So you start a new game. I'll skip the cutscene so not spoiling anything. So, you know, you can... You can watch them yourself. Yes, yes, yes. All this stuff. All the understanding you'll get of the world and what's going on. <clears throat> Alright. So you start off with car. I don't want to interrupt too much. Character, <coughs> character customization. All right. So you get to make your own character in this journey, which is the the big difference from Naiwa One. So uh, one of the things you'll notice is that the. Uh, is he a female? De <laughs> Stop dogging. The default female face is very pretty. I must say that. I don't think there's any ignoring that. Like, it's real good. Like, they, they put a real lot of work in that. Um, uh, you got your presets. So you have plenty of choices. And say in the mail, you got plenty of choices. I mean, they scroll down. So you can do some really wild stuff. Look at that face. Look at that. And you can do all sorts of face paint things. I'll go through it all. Just, um, it's just, I'm just sort of like, do I pick a female face? Oh, jeez. Oof. Yes, people do the, um, anime f waifus. Alright. If I'm going to show you what it looks like, we'll just stick with... I'll just stick with a, a dude. I'll, we'll go a dude. Oh, I just need to show the boob slider. Okay, well, so show the boob slider first. Yes, there's a boob slider. It's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. And, like, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Alright, let's go back to the dude, though. Just, just make a simple dude. Imagine you're just a normal player. He doesn't, you know... Not not so caring about the other uh, boob slider. You just actually okay. Let's go here and then let's do stance. We'll change that. Uh, doesn't matter. Leave that face skin type. Oh, Ooh. so let's go. So you can. You know, you've got all the, the typical stuff. It's good. Like in good modern games have. So let's make the chin bigger. Chin definition. Okay, that's good look. So let's do the eyebrow color. Let's do something funky. You know? Let's mix it up. Ooh. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, that is, that is, um, <coughs> um, oof, um, the thickness, oof, maybe really thin. Oh, can I have an uno brow? Uh, uno brow, hi, zero, eyebrow spacing, so, so we want no spacing. Ooh, okay. Uh, eyes. So we got some good presets. There's a lot of good character customization. Uh, I want to fly through it real, real quick. So let's not. Yeah, let's make the eyes massively high. No, no, no. Let's... Oh no. Oh no. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, goodness me. All 
Oh, oh things have just gone. No, no matching us. So let's do. Oh, ho, ho. oh no. Let's do that one. And this one, let's do. And then let's do left iris color. Oh, this is. Oh, it looks so good, the yellow. Holy shies, and that looks good. Okay, and then let's do. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, the red. The red looks great. Oh my god, that looks so good. Okay, nose and uh, presets. Actually, that's okay. And I'm not going to do the nose too much. I know noses, you can do all sorts of stuff, but I, I tend not to like to mix with it too much. Oh, there we go. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, even that, Negro smaller. Look at that, the little leaps. Uh, um, oh, I'm stuffing around too much. Okay, okay, let's just facial markings. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that's so good too. Oh, look at that. You can do the writing on your face. I mean, the... Oh, the skull. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, uh, we could do a third eye. Anything else that would look good? You could do like a artworky thing, like a crack in the face. Star. Oh. Oh, the flower on the face. Okay, so I think. I think I like the lesser. <sighs> he could change the luster. So that um, makes it more shiny. Oh, goodness me. My eyes look really shiny there. Sort of. Mm. <sighs> and you can do like a second one. So you could do like um. That'll do actually. And then we'll make the luster of this one really crazy. So it really shot, really pops. Uh, let's rotate it. More like, no, 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 that's okay. Actually, we'll just keep it at zero. Um, I want it higher up. Oh no, not this positioning, vertical positioning. I want it a bit higher. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Um, there's lots of hair, so we got. All the ones from the... Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. That's... Um, oh, look at that. Yes. Yes. That is a... That is a... Um, oh. Okay, so there's lots of different stuff you can do with the hair. So I'm just going to focus on the color real quick. It's just a nice, simple... Um, Oh, the red! The red looks so good. We could do like a popping green, like his eyebrows. Oh, okay, I suppose since. Okay, okay, I'm just doing a green. This is, it's not really beginning guide type thing, but it is what it is. Uh, you can do color tips, and you can change the color. So, oh, that looks so good. Um, we can do highlights, and we can change the highlight color. Uh, what are you thinking there? Red again? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Uh, facial hair. Oh, clean shaven. That's an interesting look. Actually, I'll do clean shaven. Because it's, it's a nice, interesting look. Um, you can do eyeliner and makeup and eyeshadow and lipstick and blush and tooth paint. So, tooth. And let's do... Uh, so, we've got... What have we got? I think white's probably the way to go. There we go. That just looks nice. You can do face paints. And you can do all sorts of stuff. Oh my goodness, that actually works. Does that work? 
Oh. Oh, where's orange? Orange. Oompa, loompa, diddly. Oh. The white looks so good. It's just... And then the face paint opacity. Oh my god, he's, he's glowing! It's radioactive! <coughs> um, make him short. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, muscle definition. Oh, look at that! Be absolutely ripped. Like, crazy ripped. Chest size, make that huge or... Oh, look at that. Damn. I could do like, um... All sorts of body paint. Look at that! Holy crap! So yeah. Um... Oh. Look at these designs, man. So good. Okay, um, let's just pick that one and then I'm going to do some funky stuff with it. So, I wanted to go there and I want to do uh, no, this one. Let's just put it at zero. Make it a bit taller and then make it a bit wider. All the way around. No, I don't want to do too much. It does lose a bit of its shape. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll do uh, shine. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, so you can't really see the body stuff with pretty much all the outfits, except for the female outfits. Some of them show the stomach and just you can emphasize the boobs a bit more if you like. Uh, lots of different voices. Now you'll be hearing the voices a fair bit because you do, you know, take a lot of hits. And you do get, so let's go up and then we go. And let's go down. Let's go okay, that'll do. Uh, now we have a Yoko Foms. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, here's hype. And let's go with... That's fine, actually. I don't want to do too much. Uh, her Herculina, so we'll do more. Uh, feral. I'm not sure which one I'll go with. So, you know, this is just how you do your customization stuff. You just do all sorts of things. You can change everything later. So this is one of the good things about the game is you can come back and change what you look like at any time. So I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, that's fine. Uh, and that'll do. So let's get going. And I'll show you. I'll just. I feel like I've spent a bit too long on the customer creator. So, Naiwa 2, what sort of game is it? It's kind of... It's a level, you know, closed levels. So you have a larger map and you pick the levels you go into them. So I did short, so my guy's short. Now, uh, there's lots and lots and lots of loot. Deep loot system. Uh, X is dodge, which may be a bit jarring compared to some other games. Now, you can just jump straight through, but I'm just going to go through here. So, this is the, um, this is where you pick your starting weapon. Now, it does give you a bonus attribute to your stats, so... Yep, so this is a status screen. So, you have constitution, which is your health, heart, which is... It sort of scales with weapons. And does some key stuff. Uh, courage. Again, more key stuff, but scales with magic stuff. Magic weapons. Uh, on Myoji. Stamina. So you can carry more equipment. So it's it affects how quickly you move. So your weight. Equipment weight at the bottom left there. So it does equip. How it does change how quickly you can dart around and dodge. And you also how far you dodge and things like that. Uh, strength. Again, just basic strength for... You know, big weapons, big hammers, big ac big axes, big swords. Uh, skill, you know, for your 
More dexterous weapons, scales with them, and also scales with, I think, archery. Uh, dexterity uh, is for ninjutsu, so as well as, you know, normal dexterous weapons. But it, you need to put it up so you can equip more ninjutsu. So I don't think I'll be able to get to that in this. But the point is, it's if you want to do a ninja build, you got to have lots of dexterity. So it allows you to throw lots of shurikens, kunais. Once you, once you learn the ability to do them, so it's kind of a... You have to invest a bit of time in that. Magic, same thing. So you just put more magic points so you can hold. It increases the up to like, you know, stat 30 odd, uh, 30. It um, increases your storage ability because you store your magic and your ninja like a consumable, only that re refreshes after every time you visit a shrine. So Shrines are the uh, save point, like, um, Ember type thing, the sword things, and all that from Dark Souls. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of weapons here, and they all give like a bonus to a stat. Don't worry about it too much. Because <coughs> you can pick up any weapon in the game and use it. Uh, there's no stat requirement for weapons, unless, uh, unless later on when you upgrade your armors, then you need certain stats. And there's really only the armors that have stat requirements. So you can pick any weapon and just try them out. Um, my recommendation would be, you've got big ones, but you can't go wrong with a basic sword. Just simple. So you just get a nice sword. Uh, hold L1 to block. There's blocking in this is really effective. You don't need a shield. So there's, well, there's no shield in the game, but you can block with your normal weapons and it's still effective. And for some of the bigger weapons, it's more effective. So you just got your basic quick attacks. Now, whenever you attack, your green stamina bar goes down, and then a little blue bar fills up, and you press R1 to keep hold. So that's something you'll be practicing through the whole game. He's just making sure you're managing your key pulses. You'll be doing key pulses all the time. So again, depends on your weapon how much you'll be doing them. The other part is uh, you have you can change to a secondary weapon, so you can you'll be carrying two weapons through the whole game. So you can have, oh, what is my secondary weapon going to be? So you can pick anything you like. So you can grab a, a spear or an axe, uh, tomfa, good fun, split stuff, really. Uh, so I'd say the, the easiest weapon in the game to use is the split stuff. And I'll show you why. So you have, so you've got two weapons. So the key to the split stuff is it uses a bit of key, but and a bit of your stamina, which you call key. But it does good reach. So in high stance, because you have different stances, everything is slower, but does more damage. Low stance, shorter range, but you attack with more frequency. So if you're doing status effect build up like a fire or poison or thunder or water, you can just build them up quicker with your lower, lower stance. But it's just that holding the, the triangle strong attack, absolutely effective throughout the entire game. You maintain range, but using a, a physical weapon. It just extends, see how it splits, the top part splits, and it's just so easy. Really, really, really good for a beginner. So I'll, I'll keep that as the beginner one and I'll switch out. Uh, the fists are a bit more in close. Uh, hatchets, you throw them as part of their ability. So two axes, you can do a sort of throwing thing. I don't say it's two crash hot. Kusurigama is one of my favorites. It has lots of different abilities. You can attack with the ball. Or you can attack with the sickle. So my preference is low stance. And just... Yep, just hitting with the ball. That's all I do. So I've beaten the game many times. But I've gone through entire runs. Where I'm using, say, just the Kusurugama. Just using it like this. Just spamming square. Light attacks. Keeping the game really simple, and then just, you know, dodging. Uh, 
keeping it. And now this is probably the other weapon other people will probably choose. So this is the switch glaive, which has a whole bunch of things you can do with it. Now you'll learn as you use your weapons, you get proficiency in them. So beating enemies with them, you'll earn... Or you'll learn a bunch of different skills, you can equip them. So you can learn skills, there we go. So this is your skill tree. So say you use the sword a lot, you'll get sword skill points the more you use it. You can also get them through doing um, training things. And you can learn a whole bunch of abilities. So depending on your stance, so the key is, um, most of them, they're pretty simple. But you have stance-based abilities. <coughs> Uh, final blow damage. Okay, key, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and you've got the, the best one of all. So you've got a whole bunch of abilities you can learn. There's heaps and heaps and heaps of them. There's special super ultra ones you get. You have to do training missions to the maximum training mission difficulty. Which, you know, it's fine. In the first run, that's maybe a little bit challenging. But most of them are okay. They're just 1v1 against the, the teacher, the sensei. Um, yeah, so you got a whole bunch of tree, a whole bunch of skills. Oh, that's my phone in the background. Um, yeah, so you have all the huge amount of choice, but again, pick a weapon here that you find easy to use. Whatever you think you can spam the square of. then you should pick that. So I'll show you the axe, because I just want to show you a big weapon. People like the Tomfa, because they're good fun. But again, your preference, and you can change it any time. So there's nothing to, nothing to worry about. You just pick what you like, you'll probably find, as soon as you pick your starter weapons, what will happen though, is that in the first mission, the enemies when you kill them, I'll show you the, probably, I'll keep the split stuff because it's bloody easy as, and then I'll grab, what do you find, uh, the dual blades are really, really popular, I would say. Alright, that'll do. Now you pick your guardian spirit after you pick your weapons. Um, I'm just going to pick the red one. This is a... Red one is easy mode compared to the other two. Alright, so that'll do. So, um... So they do give you a bonus to your stat, whichever one you pick. But they operate differently in that you... When an enemy attacks you, they glow red. I'll show you when... Let's just go to the first mission. It's a great idea. So we leave the place. Now you can do tutorials in there if you want to learn more. You can go through the same tutorials again. We'll skip the story because we're skipping the story. Because you can watch that yourself. Alright, so when you first start, you get your first mission. Now this may be one of the toughest missions for you because it's your first mission. So I'd be really just... I'd be sad if people quit at this point. So I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible. So say you've got the split staff because just because you want to make sure things aren't too hard. So your shrine is your stop point. It's where you level up. Now Dark Souls rule. Elden Ring rule. Health is good. Give yourself some health at the start. You're going to take hits. You're going to learn the game. It's going to take you a little while. Oh, I can claim... Can I claim those? Yeah, I can claim my boons. 
and there's training as well. So you can do the training, you can go through the tutorial, the training ground, and learn how to play. You can claim your DLC. That's if you, you know, they're just armor things, so they, they'll help out. I'm not going to equip them, because that'd be unfair. You can try and summon visitors, but you don't have any Ochoco Cups, so you can't. It's kind of a bit unfair at the start, really. <laughs> uh, so, you'll, will you, whenever you level up, you can, you know, just think about what you're going to spend it on. Uh, as you go through the game, you, your currency you pick up is small uh, is spirit stones, and you'll get different sizes, which have different amounts of Amrita, which is your currency, like souls, like runes. You know, same concept. So there's a lot of concepts you'll find you understand because they're just similar. Now, when you see an enemy, you click in the right stick to log in. Now, I've turned off the uh, the reticule, but usually there's a reticule. Oh, so close. So the good thing about the split star, really good range. So you can just, just spam that. Now the enemy I just killed, yeah, 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 is a, um, oh, it's just a, so the enemy I just killed is a little dude called a Gaki. And they're probably going to kill you the most in the game. The first enemy you see will probably kill you the most. Because it's just a little dude. Sometimes you don't see him. They jump on your back. They jump on your face. They bite your face for a bit. They're really annoying. So, oh no, it's just they just show up usually in groups. And there's other you know bigger things you're focusing on. So this is like a, an optional boss you can fight at the start. You don't have to fight him. But see how I just blocked it. Because I don't have much stamina. And press up arrow to use heals. X to dodge. I recommend holding block as you, you know, in some circumstances, just block. Don't worry about it too much. You try and perfect dodge and all that, but... Use the terrain to your advantage. So in some situations, it'll be a bit tight, so you probably won't be able to do that. Now, the tutorial, the guidance, it doesn't want you to battle this dude. So it'll tell you just to ignore him, which you can do. Honestly. Oh, that hurt. But just as a combat sort of basic here. Dodging. Oof. And being aware of how far his damn club goes. So what you can do is you can fight him or you can just get past him. Or you can do proceed to the tutorial. So it does offer that, which it didn't do. And it'll tell you all about how to level up and all that. Now, one of the things you can do is summon people to help you if you have Ochako Cups. Now, in order to get those... Oh! He killed me! <laughs> when you die, your souls do drop on the ground and you can pick them up, but... um, Yeah, be careful fighting revenants. So, revenants are players that have died, and uh, benevolent graves are people who put down, that's a real player, they put down their little thing to help people. So I want to kill this dude so I can get a no chakra cup so I can someone want to show you, but this might be a bit... Okay. Oh, just let me... Damn, I'm just... Okay, let's switch weapons here. Okay, that's better. Now we got two. It's not enough. Oh my goodness. Okay. So throughout the game, you'll be fighting. You can fight these guys. Now, in the original 
before they did some updates, you could do a lot of really funky stuff with the revenants. So you could basically... Well, that doesn't help me at all. Uh, if they drop off into the water, they don't drop their items. So, again, that's a pain in the ass. Someone costing two. Someone's got to be cheaper. Oh, ridiculous. Okay, let's kill this Gaki. Okay, let's kill this dude. Get in a Chaco Cup. Summon a buddy. Now, when you get an enemy, their broken key, so their stamina bar breaks, then you can do a whole triangle grapple. And so you can do, you know, massive damage. Like that guy did to me. What? Five? How many? How many of these guys cost? What? So, the reason why these people cost five is because they're too high a level. Which means they're probably like level 300, and they've come in here and put their... A chucker, they mean, put their revenant sign down so they can help people, and that's what happens. So, this is the big difference between Niowa and Soul's Elden Ring is that you can put down your like a a a botted version of yourself to help people. So, this isn't a real player playing, it's just a bot, but it will play like the real player plays. So, if they use magic, it'll use magic, and if they use ninja, it'll use ninja. So let's get revenge on this dude. So when he glows red, you can do a counter attack. So let's get in here now because he's... Here we go, so now he's got... Now that his key's broken, we can do lots of damage. Oh, I should have got that. And summoning someone else to help you, which you can do a lot in the game, is really helpful. It's just... Just because it distracts them. So, from, if you're ever in trouble, summoning other people to help is a good idea. That and they're using a massive axe, so they're breaking the... The key and doing corruption damage. So we just keep breaking the key. And now I learned a skill point with dual swords, so I can upgrade that. Alright. Now because we beat him, we got a key and we can take a shortcut. It's not really a shortcut considering how long it took me to just get to that done. So every time you get a skill point, uh, I keep doing that instinctively. Okay, you can invest a skill. Now I'm using high stance, so lots of the skills are stance specific. So see how it says high stance only. So let's let's do that, and then let's go into skill customization and element and triangle block guarding. Oh, not sword, double. Okay, so now it's automatically equipped. Now the if you press square on it, you can add an ability to it. So if you learn. Uh, which you will. Some samurai skills. Uh, let's see. Here's a good one. What's a good one with that? Good clear. Uh, you can active skill the damage bonus based on your constitution. You can get bonuses based on your stats and put them on your skills. So you could have. Uh, this is a poison one. You can have magic damage. So depending on your build, you can make your weapon do more damage with its special abilities. 
So depending on how you play. So one of the things early on in the game, your weapons are tied to the stats they prefer. So see how it's C plus for heart, uh, D plus for strength, and B plus for skill. You can change that. Uh, once you get through a couple of playthroughs, so you go through the higher the difficulties, you can make it whatever you like. So eventually you can have it that it scales with magic or whatever you want. So you don't have to be feel like you're locked behind a certain weapon forever. You can do whatever you like later on. So let's... I can put on some armor, but that'd be cheating. Alright, let's go. Now, your, your summon doesn't despawn for a long time. Like, it can take a while. So it's pretty forgiving in that regard. Oh, we don't have any ranged weapon yet, so we just gotta get rid of this guy. And there's a bow here, I think. There's a bow. Here we go. So now we got a bow. Now uh, in your equipment tab, you can equip two ranged weapons. Uh, you can equip accessories. So we've got a shoulder strap, so I'll put that on just because. Oh, I'll show you some. So these are armor sets that you get here by the game. They're not really good. Cause see, I can't even equip them. Not enough constitution, not enough skill, so I can do... Toughness is generally what you want to go with, but again, the equipment weight, you've got to experiment, is what I'll say. So you look at the weight, how, you know, the current one I've got on is 4.0, and this one's 9.6. So that's, now I'm suddenly, I can't dodge as well. So maybe we'll keep. So we got any digits of power on life. Let's put that one on. We got here, we got. Oh, I can't use them. Got any more stamina? So you have weapon rarity. So it starts off with white, goes to blue, uh, then to yellow, then to purple, and then you have. Oh, let's see here. We got a hammer. Oh, let's switch those for those. That's actually really good, but it, it's kind of weird. Uh, it contradicts itself. So we'll kick that down. So as you go through the first mission, you can do what you're supposed to do. You know, and kill every enemy and try and dominate and all that sort of stuff. Learning the game. So that's my new attack I learned. So let's just... Oh, I haven't got any arrows! Oh. Uh, every enemy can kill you, so do be careful. So try to keep your buddy alive and also if you didn't notice earlier attacks from behind do more damage so it's always worthwhile against especially against big bosses to get behind your enemies and then you do massive damage is there one in there Okay, so just be careful of enemies hidden around the place. Ah, oh, crap, I gotta go around. How long have I gone for? This might take a while. Okay, I'll try and finish this mission and then I think that's pretty much all I can do in this time slot. I've gone for a long time. If you're still watching, I'm quite thankful that you're still watching, but... Okay, let's do one stamina, one in, uh, one in constitution. 
I need more constitution. So we need some skill. Um, yeah, that'll do. Uh, you can't go too wrong with your stats. You can just focus on one stat. Just be aware, early on, I think it's best to get everything to 10. So it gives you a lot more options later on. Even though it is a little bit taxing. Okay, so we can try and summon one visitor. Because I got one on Joker Cup. We'll see if some random person shows up. Now, every time you go to a shrine... The enemies all reset. But so does the health of your... Whoever you summon, so... Ah, Archer. Okay, about to die. See? You can block arrows. Just be aware that, you know, they're dangerous. Alright. So, let's rush through. You can just run past everything. Just be careful, of course, that some circumstances make it harder to do that. Shooting arrows at us? Okay. I really want to learn some more skills real quick so I don't get moitered. So, Samurai skill points you earn as you play through the game. Uh, so, I'm using high stance, so I'll do that. So, this just gives you more benefits from when you do uh, key. So, when you purify. So, it just allows you to do a lot more. What the heck? Help me, buddy! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! No! Oh, I'm just gonna run past everyone. Okay, when you die, your your summons go away, and then you've lost your Ochaka cups. <coughs> so one of the things I can see happening with players early on <clears throat> is they'll die a lot, have no Orochaku Cups, they won't be able to summon anyone to help them and that's a uh, yokai, so that a big yokai ouch So all I need to do is get this gate open. Did it open? God, I'm showing you how to play like scuffed gameplay here. Some proper averageness. Yeah! What's I'm on about? So you can, if you don't want to struggle, so, the, the game becomes much easier once you get through a couple of missions, and you can just spend your time learning the game in the first mission, or you can just um, skip it. So, this is a... Ah, you dingleberry. You can always use your ranged weapon. Um, it's probably best to use it often. So this is... Uh, oh god, it's going to be tricky. Okay, and then you... 
So this is like a yokai sort of specific zone. And this is going to be quite difficult. Ah. So it slows your key recovery in this zone. And it, so it can make it slightly more challenging, but also you can, you know, have like increased luck and all sorts of things going on. Monkey! Bloody monkey. Okay, back to the split staff. So in order to be able to activate the shrine, you have to defeat the yokai. So let's try and bait this one. Here we go. And he throws rocks. Just let him... Okay. That's one down. And you can use stones as well. There's a whole bunch of consumable items you can use. But again, if you're playing the first time, you don't want to waste it. So the tricky part is when there's multiple of these dudes. Because they can eat each other and then go become really big. Right, we're we doing that. Do I have anything I can use? Alright, let's have a look. So we've got sacred water. We got stones. Just some really basic items we can use. Try and get through this mission as if I'm a new player. Which I'm doing a pretty convincing job of. Okay, drink the sacred water. Chuck a rock. Okay, so we just want to hit this first hit on the face. Second hit. Try and get some key back. And then now we just want to get around. Two, three. And nice squares. Nice square. Now he's broken the key. Just blocked that. Didn't have any key, but it didn't matter. You can still get a block even if you only got a tiny bit. So it's worthwhile to block. If even if you think you're in trouble, just block. Okay, just want to go through there. That was way more painful than it needed to be. Oh well, here's what it is. So when you beat a little key dark yokai zone section thing, the, the, you beat the boss, it clears the zone, you can open the magical chest, grab your shrine key. Sometimes there are multiple chests, so you do need to be on the lookout for those. 
open the door. And also, you're also looking for Kodama, but don't worry too much about him early on. Like, don't go crazy on it. Okay, so let's pray. So now that I found a Kodama, I can do the make offering. I get a Kodama Bazaar. So the whole point of this is that you can use the points you get from disassembling items. I'll show you what I mean by that. So you make an offering, you can get rid of items you're not going to use. So get rid of like these white items. Other weapons, but you may want to try the other weapons, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, always keep purple weapons and purple armor because you can disassemble those at the blacksmith later on and then you can get good, really good materials from them. You need for crafting for the rest of the game. So you just keep all the purple stuff, disassemble that. When you offer it up, you can get Amrita, so you get souls from selling stuff, so basically currency here. And you get blessings from Kondama, which you've got to have to equip. And now that I've done that, I can get some more elixirs. Just some more healing items, which is your elixir. Um, see, I'm already needed for the next level 2,500 Amrita, so it does it does go up pretty fast. So again, try not to worry too much about it, but it is what it is. Okay, let's kill this guy again. Now I'm just going to check to see if I have enough. I only have that many. So you can sort all your inventory. So I sort it by rarity. That's my preference. Just click in the right stick. Now let's see who this is. And let's hope they help me win this battle. Uh, I did learn a skill for the split staff. And I'm going to do the dragon dance. So now I've got... Again, skills are okay because you can use them to apply elemental things. Like you can put fire on top of like that sort of skill there and you can build up a fire status effect on an enemy pretty quick. So that's where I think skills are best suited. But some builds rely entirely on the skills you use and you can do tremendous amounts of damage. So let's just block. Drink that. So his purple bar is, is key. So now we've broken his key, we can just do some massive damage rail on him. And then he'll do that and I'll... Oh, that got me. Ah, oh, should be in range. Oh, dodge that. That's, that was not good dodging. Oh, so if you get caught in the grab maneuver, he can do plenty of damage to you, so be careful of that. So basic um, Dark Souls Elden Ring rules here. Try and get on the AS, sniff in the butt, as much damage as you can, break the stance, And then you finish him off. And then we have our cutscene. And we have sort of the story stuff. And then the loot. So every time you beat a big boss, drops a bunch of loot. So here we go, we've got some purple stuff. And also we have a soul core. So soul cores are a big part of the... The big part of the game. Probably, I think, a really good difference between, you know, souls like games and Iowa series is that you have more uh, fantastical ability type things and you have magic and ninja stuff so yeah skip that
And we got a new guardian spirit buddy who we can use if we want to. And we got a Mezuki. So now we can do this ability. And it uses our Yokai bar. Yokai juice <laughs> bar. So let's attune it. And we can attune it to our soul core. So we can do this R2 and square. So we have the larger map. It talks about the story. Now you have multiple missions to pick. And as you beat the main missions, which are the red ones, you get more and more, you go through the axe. I mean, you go through all the sections, you get stronger, you fight more tough bosses. I feel like that was a guide to the first mission. It's sort of a... <coughs> I'll try to be as... Yeah, I need more stamina. Uh, make some more offerings. So we got a good longbow, a dachi. I've got a good split staff and a, a dachi. Okay, let's get rid of those. L1, and let's get rid of some armor. Um, let's just get rid of everything that isn't purple. I'm not too worried about armor, to be perfectly frank. So see all this, all the uh, the modifiers on armor and and weapons can all be changed except for the ones that are locked. So the little symbol of the uh, hexagon, that means it's that's its inherent to that type of equipment. So it's stuck on that one. So there's guard key consumption, damage taken versus yokai, high attack damage. So these are things that inherit, that always come with that particular piece of equipment. Now you can lock things so you don't accidentally sell them. So you can, yes, there's a cat outfit. Yes, you can add the girl, your wife, who dressed as a cat. Uh, and you can just unlock them. So you can lock your favorite and lock whatever you think is really good. And later on, so you don't accidentally sell it. There's no way, you, you know, there's a lot of good stuff you can put in here. So you don't accidentally sell things you like. So here, I don't want to sell that. But I, I could lock it, but I'm going to take it to the blacksmith, so I'm not too worried. Um, I'm going to go down Blessing. Ah, still short. So I'm still short. You can use items while you're in the menu. So you can use, like, spirit stones. And then I can level up on some more. More skill for more damage. It doesn't really give me massive damage bonus, does it? I think constitution. So let's... Actually, I'll take... Yeah, dexterity. So, I think... Uh, you have the dojo, so you can do tutorial training grounds. Later on, you'll get a lot more things to that. Hidden tea house. Uh, Tori gates where you play with others. So you can do expeditions where you actually complete the mission and can progress through the entire game doing expeditions. So you can go expedition and then other people will play with you up to two others. So you can have three people playing together through the whole game. So you can play the whole game together with other people or you can do random encounters. So that's you going into other people's games to help. So whenever you need XP, you need to level up more. Random encounters, random encounters, random encounters, random encounters. Um, but you can only do random encounters in missions you've finished until you beat a difficulty, then you can play all the ones in the lower difficulty. But generally, you want to <coughs> beat the missions you enjoy, and then you can do random encounters in those ones for later on. Okay, so that's been my guide, Frosty Fire 10's guide to the first mission, Village of Cursed Blossoms in Niowa 2, beginner guide. So I played like a beginner. <laughs> uh, you get so much stronger later on that you do your hardest playthrough will be your first one. And then, it, you know, later on the end game is really tough. But you'll be so strong by then, you'll be able to cope. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Um, yeah, like and subscribe. Bye-bye. Uh,